Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. Well, it's been a long year and a cold winter, but uh, we've survived the pandemic. We've gotten our shots, and I'm looking forward to a, a good coming year. Uh, during the time we were hosed up and held in our house, I had a lot of time to think about things, and one of them was that in coming year, when we do finally get to get out, I want to do some bicycle riding and get out on the uh, riverfront trail, maybe, and, and do some walking, too. And I thought, well, I like to ride, but it'd be nice to have a, a motored bike or something, you know, that you wouldn't have to pedal. So I thought, well, maybe I can make some kind of a air-powered device that will fit on my bicycle. But I don't want to make any alterations to the bicycle itself, so it's going to have to be a self-contained unit that I can just attach with, uh, say, one bracket in the front and a couple of side supports to hold it up. I've thought a lot about what it should look like and how it should work, and I think maybe it'll kind of resemble this sort of a device, the way it looks. A couple of air tanks uh, would fit underneath it, one on each side possibly. Scuba tanks, which would give it a pretty good distance, I think. Um, the design, I'm going to make a two-cylinder, and it's going to have some pretty small cylinders, but I want to be able to get as you know, much distance as I can with it and still have enough power to make it move. I've done some calculations and I think what I've designed will work, but when I actually get working on it, we'll see. This would be kind of what the device would look like. It would just attach on the front end of the thing here. There would be a drive wheel in the center back here and a cylinder on each side to uh, drive the wheel that would drive the back wheel of the bicycle. And then I could just take it on and off if I wanted to use it or if I didn't want to. But uh, I'll let you know as I work on it and start putting things together whether it's going to be anything practical and whether it will work. But I also wanted to say for you uh, long-term subscribers, Thanks for hanging in there, and uh, any new subscriber, if you're interested in what I'm going to be doing or what I've done in the past, you can check in on my website, which is Air Engine Research on YouTube, and if you subscribe, you'll be notified any time that I have something new to, to show you. And for now, I really don't have anything else to say. Uh, I'll go ahead and fix this up and post it and see what everyone thinks about it. Either give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I hope to see you in the future. So, till then, so long.